unboxing, review or comparison uh, video in the Den of the Lion channel. So in the last week I received like two big packs. Uh, one of them was containing the Vampire the Masquerade uh, Chicago by Night and the Fall of London and the Vampire the Masquerade game um, Story Terror Scream. And the other one was finally I received the Enemy in the Shadows uh, rule book and the companion book, which is the first, let's say, the first chapter of the Enemy Within campaign in the Warhammer Fantasy setting. And with that one, I received the Game Master screens finally, which I think I really needed this. But it's really strange that. One of them called Story Terror, another called them Game Master, the Dungeons and Dragons Dungeon Master, but whatever. So we're, we'll, we will review the uh, two screens and the additional booklet that come uh, with both of us uh, product. So first of all, uh, <clears throat> let's do the Vampire one and we will see what it contains. Okay, so Vampire the Masquerade, Storyteller Toolkit. Let's see. So we have the booklet, a cover, just for the back, and also the screen itself. So first of all, let's um, see the booklet, right? So. I think this booklet is focusing more on the atmosphere of Vampire. I mean, how a uh, storyteller, game master, dungeon master, whatever, should run the campaign uh, or chronicle with a lot of atmosphere in it. As you can see, it's the breathe life into your chronicle, which I think it's a really good approach. So it's not your usual game master guide or something like this but it's more focused on the atmosphere if you can see like sm smell sounds music you know you can pop some joy division in the background or something like that uh, and actually it's like uh talk uh, talks about like pop culture as well and <laughs> basically that's it so you get like this six pages of making an atmosphere and after that you get a table with 100 victims but the 100 victims actually is 50 plus victims for the 50 victims which uh, are in the core book you know the beginning and the end of the core book but it has some really good addendum when your vampire hunts the pay, prey, and, and, and it's like the, this resonance mechanic, it's like we will, we will have a whole conversation, whole conversation about the resonance mechanic, which is really good. So we have like, yeah, 100 of those. Okay. And we got 100 sites. So 100 location. Like crematorium, diner, drugstore. Hospital, gas station, morgue, you know, all the nice places, <laughs> jail, <laughs> lawyer's office that you can visit. I really like that they are not they are not really using like like they are using photographs instead of uh, like uh, graphics. I, I really really like it because it just gave it more of the atmospheric feel that I think Vampire 5th edition is going for, which I, I really welcome. I think it's really good. And the subway station, decommission. And basically that's it. Oh yeah, and 50 omens. It's like, cool. Right after the drain. The sore on the side of the factory building looks like there is a cloud handprint. So it's like adventure hook or like smoke tips for the GM to run the Chronicle. But yes, so this booklet is, is okay. I mean, it's, it's always nice to have something else with the 
the screen itself, but it's it's fine. Let's say it's fine. And now let's go to the meat. Okay. Or the screen. So as usual, it's a four uh, page hard paper. So what is there is a burning rose, goth chick, Nosfera 2, and city skyline. I would, uh, to be honest, I would appreciate this one expand on like four blocks. So the whole thing will be like a whole skyline thing, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this way as well, so it's a really good uh, <coughs> designed uh, game. Uh, <coughs> I mean, the item code is really good. So what we have here, we have the dice definition, the difficulty of actions, um, simple antagonists, uh, which are it's a really good one. Uh, trade cost, yeah, whatever. Okay, mortal uh, mortal template, which is uh, okay ish. The critical table, the failure taper, and the compulsion taper, it's good. Feeding, really good generation. Well, I mean, it can be there, but it's like an addendum. Block potency, it's a really good thing to, uh, to track, I would say. Another side, let's see what's there. Okay, so we get the humanity, a little bit of... Uh, Losing uh, the last drop, what will happen to you, damaging and destroying touchstones, good frenzy provocations, good humor, really good resonance table is there, really good random template and resonance, okay, -ish. and uh, the last one is basically about combat, so all in all, I think this is a really good GM screen. It gives you all the necessary thing that you don't have to like, you know, bookmark a lot of things in like a 450 pages book. And I really like this like blood stains, stuff like that. I'm still, I'm still a bit like concerned about the artwork. I just, if you just lay it down, okay, I cannot because of my, uh, Camera is, I mean, there is some okay, so there are transitions you can see, it's just like not one big artwork, it's four artworks like squeezed in one. I would, I would definitely have this kind of like I had, I don't know, I, I had the vibe of the, the radio head album cover of something like that, but yeah, so that is the. That is the uh, story stellar screen for Vampire the Masquerade. Oops, okay. So now let's check Warhammer Fantasy. Warhammer Fantasy Game Makers screen. Game Makers Game Master screen. Sorry about that. Okay. I think it has the same one, so. Yep. Cover. The screen and the booklet. Okay, so first about the booklet. It is a much more beefier booklet than the vampire one. So it it's kind of a DM guide, which is kind of there in the core book, but it just gave you more here. So it's it's try to set uh, a foundation that how you should tell a story and what are what are the roles um, as a GM. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's literally stated there that your goals are make the old words come to life, create gripping action pack scenarios, the action pack that how fast you can kill your players, build a story together, understand the character, and also GM principles. And so basically all of these uh, bullet points get a little bit like, uh, you know, a description that how a GM should be lead the player to the story, focus on the characters, evil is rampant, good is rare. I mean, yeah, Warhammer, 
40k or order or whatever, it's not a good place to live in. I mean, yep. And there is like some themes that you can uh, basically uh, word your campaign around, like class struggle, ideology, religion, and stuff like that. Okay, so chapter two, running the game. It's like taking the advantages uh, because you know, with the starter stat, you get this like coins. So there is one or tokens. So there is one way, a dice, whatever. It's like it's a sliding scale, virtual tabletop, character death to, to make the character death like meaningful. And yeah. I had to taught uh, my players to embracing character death because character's death in Warhammer Fantasy is like a, I wouldn't say it's common, but it can happen anytime. And it's like a little bit of helping that how you can introduce new characters to your story. Mm, day in life, what you are doing between adventures, which actually in the core book as well. Um, and we have the tables, but these kind of tables are more thorough, like mo what kind of motivation character can have. I mean, it's like more of a, uh, a GM guide to help the players when you are cre uh, creating the character together. Social status, cost of living. I mean, I think, I think this one is, is still in the, in the core book, but I don't know. Um, and after that, it just gives you like three, I think three NPCs, like sample NPCs, backstory stuff like that. And we have this random table that if your players need a job, or how do I know you again? It's like it's like cool stuff. I think both package would be good. Still would be good without those tables. But they are just like, you know, some scenarios, hooks, what not to. You can like uh, tell your players to get feeling of this is a living and breathing words, man. Yeah. And also I never understood why they are putting this, the, the table still on the last page, but whatever. And the screen. And when I, what I missed from Vampire it's all here with all of this glory. This artwork is gorgeous. One continuous scene of Aldos or Uber Reich or whatever. It's it's just it's just brilliant. This this how a game make uh, a game master screen should look like. And I just don't know why people always always on the roof. Why I don't know. But let's see. Oh yeah, it's falling another way. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So, here. Random name generator. Really good. I mean, I really want, I really needed this one. Traits, really nice. Skill is really nice. Difficulty, okay. Advantage, okay. Faith resilience, good. This one had in the box. Ranges, good hit locations, oh, that's really good. Assistance, yeah, psychology, it's nice. Mm. Money conversion, selling, availability, common items, uh, avoiding XP. Core, movement, good, with the travel. How to advance a career, this is enough. And this is enough. You don't have to read the light of four pages in the core book. Conditions, common conditions, which basically these are the ones that you will use throughout your story. Weapons and shields, does it have a cost? Yes, it has a cost, really good so. Armor, creature size. It's good, I really like it. It's really helps to run your game smoother. And we will see in the enemy bidding campaign that how smoother we can run this. How, how, how do you fold? How you fold it this way? Okay. Okay, it's strange. You have to get used to it. 
Okay, final thoughts. Coming in just a second. So, uh, welcome back. So I think both screens are brilliant because you can like, if you are into really immerse and uh, atmospheric play and you're just like going to, I don't know, a fight or, or you, you, you have some question from the player and whatever, and it's like, yeah, 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 just, just a moment. I really need to like look it uh, up in the rule book and it's like, Okay, which which page? Of course, there is like you know you, you can bookmark them, whatever. But the game maker screen, it's it's really a tool for the GM to run the game more smoothly, and also it giving the players that I don't know thought that you are knowing everything what they are asking, so you don't have to ah 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 wait 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 oh yeah I know that the critical hit table is like you know. 245 uh, page and it's like oh, okay it's, mm, paging 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 these two uh, booklets or addendums or i don't know what to call them are having a different approach it's really the same but it's different but it's the same so all in all i think vampire fifth edition as a game it's really about the atmospheric things and the booklet okay just let's uh, deduct the the tables that both uh, both um, booklets contains so that one focus more of the atmosphere because 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 the whole vampire as a role-playing game it's more about an atmospheric how to create an atmosphere that gloomy like this new wave gothic horror and uh, Warhammer Fantasy has helped you build the world, build the old world, fill it with life because because that's one that's one of the biggest draws in of uh, Warhammer Fantasy, the world itself. That it's not this super duper happy high fantasy thing. It's it's to live in the old world, old world, and role play in the old world. It's not the most pleasant things to do so you know both of them are good i think uh, every gm if you are running warhammer fantasy or running vampire the masquerade you should have those i would if i would choose which one is the better i would say warhammer just because the, the art is continuous in this uh, screen and not the four separate artwork which is in Vampire. Uh, the next video I think I will do like a, a review of Fall of London because uh, that's what the chronicle that we will run. But uh, it's a tricky one. I still do not know what's my feeling about it, but meet you in the next one. Take care.